Chameleon Run is basically the illegitimate love child of Ikigura, Mirror's Edge, and Cannibalt. And yes, I'm perfectly aware that those numbers don't actually add up when it comes to illegitimate love child making. It's an auto runner with a colour switching twist, and quite frankly, it's one of my personal favourite games so far this year. It offers a stiff challenge, controls brilliantly, and it looks amazing. And if that wasn't enough for you, there isn't an IAP or advert in sight. This is exactly the sort of game you should be buying if you want to rail against the supposed free-to-play menace. Chameleon Run is a platforming auto runner, sort of in the same vein as Raymond Jungle Run. Tap on the right side of the screen and you'll jump. Tap on the left side of the screen and you'll change colour. Landing on a platform when you're the wrong hue will kill you instantly and send you back to the start of the level. Each of the challenges features a number of separate metagames. You need to collect orbs, collect smoking orbs, and get to the end of the level as quickly as possible. When you've got all the different kinds of orbs, you open up another challenge. Finish the level without changing colour. It means getting to the end just isn't enough, and you'll be heading back to different levels to have another crack at them over and over again in order to finish them off completely. But there's enough good stuff here that you won't mind heading back to it, especially when it means that you'll be able to unlock later levels. Because the game doesn't rest on its laurels. It adds new ideas regularly, throwing in interesting twists to its mechanics. There are double jumps, head bashes that essentially let you do a quadruple or more jump, and gates that automatically switch your colour. And it just all gels together to create a blisteringly fast, deeply challenging experience. We did have reservations going in, we'll admit, but this is a game that takes the auto runner by the scruff of its neck and shakes it until it's relevant again. There's more than a splash here of retro arcade charm, and it is, in short, really rather good. So give it a go. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.